Satnam. Satnam. Good morning, good morning, morning, good morning, morning, morning. 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 Oh. Wow. It's just... <laughs> it's just... Uh, <laughs> it's just funny sometimes. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah. So always remember, wow. so we get caught up like, so the mirror, what are they mirroring me? Just remember, they're there too. And they came to you to get the mirror of you. So everybody's learning and everybody can be se- sensitive and we're all making mistakes and we're all learning to love better. And compassion and kindness has never been more important. And sometimes we can get confused. Like, is, you know, we get, it depends on how you are. You know, if you tend to be more of a victim, you're going to get off on like, it's them, <laughs> you know, and this is a judgment mirror. And I just judge fucking people like that. And you're never going to have a mirror that's reflecting who you are. You know, we do that. Or if you tend to be overly responsible, like if you're an over people pleaser, then everything's your fault. Like, why did I bring a contractor that won't finish the job? Am I a non-finisher? So it's yes and no, right? It's a little bit of all of it. It's deep breaths and calming down so you can get the message. So one of the things that came up for me in a situation I kind of talked about a mirror I've been dealing with and you know at least I'm moving faster than I did when I was younger when I had a similar mirror with a pretty narcissistic first husband Um, but that's not even completely the point one of the things that was happening and for me with the mirror is thinking I needed to fix something I could make it better that somehow I needed to heal so much inside of me and this person will miraculously Um, respond to that. And that is not true. That is not the guarantee, right? So it's important I learn and it's important I heal. But of course, I have no, I have no control over how my own healing and effort will affect the other. And it could still leave me in the position where better boundaries, perhaps loving somebody enough to set them free, you know? So I know, um, like with my first husband, he got married and he lived, um, I think a happier life without me because our mirrors were pretty intense towards each other. So not making it wrong. It just, it was time to end kind of thing. So one of the things that I'm really present to is um, loving yourself and and doing what is best for you. Yeah. These mirrors are just amazing. It's You're in it for a couple days. You go deep and you, you know, really get insightful within yourself. And, you know, you get to know yourself better. You get to know who you are more. And then all of a sudden, boom, it, 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 it's almost like the mirror flips. It gives you a break to be able to take in and learn and, and you feel this relief, you know, like, okay, I get a little break now. And, you know, you let all, it's kind of like when you do Savasana in the Kundalini class, you let everything integrate. And for me personally, that's what I'm going through uh, yesterday and today. I'm just letting this, all the intensity that the mirrors have brought to me these last couple of days today included so far, because you never know what's just going to pop up, um, is going to, is just showing me relief and, you know, just, just more fun and just, uh, not so intense and, you know, life isn't that hard. And so it's really showing me the perfect balance. Um, one of the things that we're going to get to in the next workshop, our last big healing together will be on August 21st. We'll work, work with the sixth and seventh mirror, which are really kind of like working with Nirvana and hell. So the sixth mirror is the dark night of the soul. And the seventh mirror is when we can totally connect to God and have so much face. We, we roll with life and we know everything is happening exactly the way it is supposed to happen. So the sixth mirror, the dark night of the soul, there are, there are episodes of that mirror, but there's also always just little glimmers. So one of the things that can happen, like, is to a reoccurring trauma that little six mirror kind of shines its light in everything a little bit so one of the traumas for me i've spoke about was some of the stuff with my stepdad one of the reactions of protection for me was 
get away from this, get away from this, get away. Like I wanted to get away from him. I wanted him not to do that. I wanted him not to come in my room, right? So my little dark night of the soul mirror flashes little, you know, like an SOS at me when I get hurt, when I feel afraid of somebody, the little SOS goes, leave, 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 right? So it isn't a dark night of the soul, right? With like a yoga teacher or, um, you know, my, I used to get freaked out with my daughter's teachers at school. So, but it's a little glimmer, right? And so the temptation is for me to get rid of them or me to leave. The only requirement in that is to not knee jerk react. But if that mirror is saying, hey, this is similar to pain you've had before, that is only saying that so I can see if I can have a clear boundary and st still be in the relationship. But if I can't, then I do need to leave or have a boundary where they can't have access. So my biggest point is working with the mirrors is to heal you and to make you feel more love and to have more power in your life. Not to defeat you and make you like, some, like somebody's victim and like you have to just completely turn yourself inside out so that you can be with every single human on earth. That's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're healing and becoming the best version of ourselves. Absolutely. All right. Let's... Have fun today. Let's have fun today. <laughs> Let's have fun today. Let's... Oh, I want to say that the mirror is... I'm um, not the mirror. The sun is in Leo at the 14th degree. Today wow. is a Gemini... Um, a Gemini uh, healing. So that means you're healing your mind with self-love. So notice your thoughts... And, and because it's not a five, it's a 14, this is about how your thoughts corrupt <clears throat> your own self-love and affect your relationships with your friends and your lovers and your business. Be kind to yourself. Have loving thoughts. Yeah. Enjoy yourself today. Really, really be open to that. Time for the affirmations and prayers. I am loving and I am thinking loving thoughts in my mind. I am thinking loving thoughts in my mind. I am easy to love. I am very easy to love. My mind is bright and trainable. My life. My mind. My mind is bright and trainable. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Heaven, Holy Mother. Heavenly Father, Holy Mother. I bow my head and open my heart. I bow my head and open my heart. Take away the bondage of self. Take away the bondage of self. That I may have victory over my own self-torture. That I may have victory over my own self-torture. By opening up to your love. By opening up to your love. Being love. Being love. Thinking love. Thinking love. Acting love. Acting love. Sharing love. Sharing love. And so it is. And so it is. Satnam. Satnam.